Hi, this is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, here to talk to you about a freaky experience I had. It was scary. It was a demonic attack. I mean, these things tried to snuff my life out. I could feel it. Ah, anyway, what happened was, two nights ago, I was sleeping. And I had just gone to bed, just gone to bed. And all of a sudden, I mean, I forgot that I was uh, supposed to sing on Saturday. It wasn't I forgot to do it, but it wasn't on my mind. So when I woke up, I was trying to figure out what was that about? Well, <clears throat> I had just gone to bed, right? And as I dozed off, the dream got weird. It was like I was mixing people up in my mind and it was feeling freaky and I didn't like the feeling. And normally when I get a, an uneasy feeling with a dream, I'll wake up and immediately fight that thing in the spirit because that's usually what's happening. So what I ended up doing was... I dreamt, this is freaky now, right? I dreamt that a hand came over my face like that. And it was like pinning my head down. While the other hand came over and went over my nose and my mouth to stop me from breathing. And to stop me from rebuking it, from being able to move my mouth and speak. Yeah. And this was, it, it felt weird. It was like it was touching me, but it wasn't. It, I can't even explain how icky it felt. It was, it was creepy feeling. And there was some type of power keeping my legs and my hands down so I couldn't raise them up. And I couldn't sit up. But I could see the hand. I could, I felt exactly where the hand was. I saw the I, just like I'm looking at this, I saw that. This is the way it looked. The way I'm holding it over, excuse the, I got ink on my hand. But it was like somebody coming over your face. It was freaky. Well, I was mumbling because I couldn't articulate with the pressure on my mouth and my nose. And I was determined. I said, oh, no, you're not. I didn't even have enough sense to get scared. I really thank God that he's proven how powerful the name of Jesus is because I get annoyed rather than scared, right? So I'm rebuking. I rebuke. I'm talking like this. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I could barely get it out because I didn't even have the wind. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Then it disappeared. And I felt like it was off of me. But I knew that if I fell back asleep, which I wanted to do so bad, I was so sleepy. I knew if I did that, they'd be back. So I had to sit up in the bed and do my warfare. I rebuked the devil again and again. I commanded him never to try that mess again. I forbid you to try that on me again. I command you to leave me, this house, this bedroom, this property, never return in the name of Jesus. I told, I, I told, um, what else did I say? I said, don't you ever put your hands on me again in the name of Jesus. I was just going through everything I could think of to stop that kind of attack from happening again. Okay. And, um, you know, you never know what happens to people when they're sleeping, but if they don't really understand what's happening or if they are uh, hallucinating from drugs, you know, I mean, maybe it's prescription drugs, they might think they're hallucinating and not realize they're really having a demonic encounter. So we have to really know how to do spiritual warfare, you guys. There's nothing to play with. Satan likes to catch you when you're down. You're either asleep, you're vulnerable, 
you're defenseless, you're sick, or you're little and small and you don't even know what's going on. Babies, children, I mean, he's dirty. He's a filthy thing to deal with, a filthy entity and full of hate. So you have to, you have to come back at him. And your weapons are the name of Jesus, praising God. Oh, yes, I did that before I went to sleep. Um, quoting the word. You've got to, that's why you have to read the word. You can't quote the word if you don't read the word. I laid there and quoted I, uh, Psalms 23, the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So, uh, you know, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters and on and on. So I quoted that. And I remembered when I was unsaved. And a demon came in my house. I quoted that scripture and it left. And I wasn't even saved. But that's all I had. I didn't I didn't know anything else. I didn't know the 23rd Psalm, but I grabbed the Bible, I knew where to find it, and I read it. So being saved, being filled with the Holy Spirit, and being familiar with spiritual warfare and demonic attacks, I knew the weapons to use. You have to learn how to use those weapons, you guys, because Satan is out to steal, kill, and destroy you. He's not playing patty cake. And you can't pussyfoot and patty cake with him. Leave the, I'll tell you what doors. Now, I'm going to go into this real quick and then I'm going to stop because I really want this to be a brief video. You have to stop handling people's Ouija boards. Stop calling psychics um, online or on the phone and asking them about your life. Stop doing that mess. Quit, quit tampering with the other side. Just quit messing with it. You want to know stuff, you, you, you ask God. Acknowledge Him in all your ways. And He will direct your path. And there won't be a lie mixed in with it. Anything that's part of the devil or anything that would exalt itself against the knowledge of Christ will have a lie mixed in with it. You watch yourself here. Now God bless you.